Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and I thought today we would do something a little bit different. You know, just something different out of the ordinary, which isn't really like a normal video you would see me do on my channel. And this is when the idea came across my mind about which characters would be in Grand Theft Auto 6, which are currently in Grand Theft Auto 5. I've seen a few people do this with Grand Theft Auto 4 characters, but because no one's done this with actual GTA 5 characters, I thought it would be a great start to do this episode. And what I have done is actually take Taking a look in previous GTA games to see exactly what pattern and what trends Rockstar games follow. And what I've done is done a lot of research into this, like literally loads and loads and loads and loads of research. And with this research, I've managed to compile a very educated, small list of characters who I honestly believe are going to be in Grand Theft Auto 6. To start things off, I'm going to showcase this list on the screen right now. And this is the list of every single character from Grand Theft Auto 4 who is in GTA 5. Some of them have huge roles, for example we have Laszlo, and some of them have tiny roles, for example there's Ashley, there's also Johnny, you know, I mean they have small roles but they're still pretty significant, and that is excluding every single person mentioned, because you only have to play GTA 5 to hear so many names and references to Grand Theft Auto 4 in this game. So it only makes sense that in GTA 6 we're going to see quite a few characters from GTA 5 in that game, and because GTA 6, I know it's like really far away, like I have no idea when it's gonna come out. Honestly, I think we will start hearing news about it closer to 2020 or something, like it's gonna be a long time away. But eventually when that game does come out, I honestly believe we're going to see quite a few Grand Theft Auto 5 characters in that game. It would only make sense. So what I've done is compiled this list of all these characters and I want you guys to comment in the comments section below what you guys think of this list. And to start things off, of course, I cannot forget Lester. And the reason why I'm adding Lester to this list is because if you think about it, no matter which ending you choose, Lester will take loads of money and go off into the distance. He will text you saying, I will never speak to you again, don't contact me again, don't find me again, I'm leaving. So no matter what ending you do, Lester disappears with loads and loads of cash. And if you think about it, Lester does have a huge role in GTA 5 and GTA Online. He has so many aliases. For example, he's LJT in GTA Online. If you guys didn't know that, he is literally LJT. LJT. He's basically put himself in so many different categories of this game that he pretty much knows everything going on in Grand Theft Auto 5, which is insane. And to think about it, if you do play story mode, he also knows so many things from Grand Theft Auto 4 as well, so he does keep his eye on pretty much the entire story. So it would only make sense that Rockstar Games would add him to Grand Theft Auto 6, whether he's a contact, whether he's someone you meet, whether he's just a social profile, I don't know, but I honestly think think he's going to be in Grand Theft Auto 6 because he takes loads and loads of money, runs off into the distance, knows everything about Grand Theft Auto 5, has so many businesses in GTA 5, and he also knows everything in GTA 4 as well. So he knows a lot of people, so it would only make sense that he's going to be in GTA 6, and this has to be one of my like most solid and most educated guesses that Lester is going to be in Grand Theft Auto 6. Alongside this, I honestly think Ron is going to be in Grand Theft Auto 6 as well, on the radio or something, just like he will have his own radio show. That would be insane. Because if you think about it, Ron does know a lot of things about mysteries and no matter what you try and do, Ron cannot be taken out. If you try, he will just respawn the moment you go back over to Trevor's trailer. You can't do anything to Ron and even if you take out Trevor, Ron will still be there outside the trailer sometimes or of course he will run away. But nonetheless guys, no matter what you decide to do, Ron will still be there. If you listen to his podcast on the radio, he he basically tells us about what's to come. All you guys need to do is literally focus on the podcast and he will tell you about the jetpacks, he will tell you about the big satellites in the sky which is the orbital cannon, he will tell you about so many crazy things and there's still things he said which have not yet happened in GTA 5 so of course if you want to use those as predictions for future DLC you guys would be on the right track. So I honestly think Rockstar Games will give Ron his own podcast show in GTA 6 or even just an appearance on the radio but either way guys I think he can be in that game and I just think he's a great candidate to put into GTA 6 and of course alongside Ron there is Wade as well this one I'm not too sure about but you do literally leave Wade like not at the end of campaign you kind of leave him near the end of campaign like two-thirds in or something you just leave Wade and that's it you don't hear from him again so Wade is also another possibility maybe as a minor character or something so when you bump into or something like that I'm not too sure but it's of course another possibility and 
And a trend you guys will notice is that the characters I'm talking about today aren't really like influenced by the story modes in GTA 5, which means they can still be in GTA 6 at some point in their story mode, uh, just as a character from this game and stuff. So I honestly think there's a chance we could see Wade as a small role, like someone we bump into or something. But either way, I guess we'll have to wait and see. The next character, guys, this character goes without saying, like I I'm pretty much 100% certain he is going to be in Grand Theft Auto 6. And this one is Laszlo Jones. Now, if you guys don't know who he is, he's the person who hosts Fame or Shame. We encounter him so many times in GTA 5. You guys, of course, may remember some of those encounters. But if you guys actually take a look into his background, he was in Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City, and Grand Grand Theft Auto 5 and he is still alive he's still okay so adding Grand Theft Auto 6 onto that list it would make sense because he's basically been in almost the entire Grand Theft Auto franchise, which is pretty insane. I don't think any character has been in that many GTA games. So I think Rockstar Games will still keep him on into GTA 6 and he could be a character who we encounter or he could literally just be a person on the TV. But either way, I think it would make sense and it would be silly not to include him into GTA 6. So let me know your thoughts on that one as well. But moving on to the next character, we're going to take a look at Fabian because Fabian he was still quite a big part of GTA 5. Have I just started a bike race? So I'm doing this bike race. Oh, we're, we're racing Marianne. Okay. So I honestly think the next character is going to be Fabian. And the reason why I think this is because Fabian has kind of like a big role, but at the same time, his role is still fairly insignificant in the grand schemes of the entire game. And the reason why I say this is because Fabian, yes, he was a part of Michael's life. Yes, he's a big character, but at the end of GTA 5, he still returns to his normal life. Like, Michael just basically throws him out of the family and then he goes back to his normal life and stuff. And of course, if you guys take a look at previous GTA games, for example, some of the characters Rockstar Games added into GTA 5 from GTA 4, Rockstar Games have added in characters who had a big role in GTA 5, but not big enough to have their role influenced by the story, which is why I think Fabian could be a great addition to GTA 6 because he could still be a yoga instructor. He could still be like someone who you can call up to get yoga taught to and it would just be a great easter egg in GTA 6 because of course you guys know how much Rockstar Games love easter eggs. And of course guys, next up, and this would be my final educated guess for now, there's a few other guesses I want to tell you guys as well, but oh gosh, are we gonna win? Oh! Oh, did we win? I think we won! Yes, we won! Yes! Well done, Trevor. Well done, dude. But the next character we're going to take a look at, guys, this one is my next confident guess, is, of course, Tanisha. And once again, the whole thing with Fabian as well, like, these characters had a fairly significant role, but not too significant to have their role influenced by the story. And Tanisha, of course, being associated with Franklin, she did actually go off and marry a brain surgeon. And she does message Franklin a few times throughout campaign just to get his blessing and to make sure he's okay, etc. But she does go off and marry a brain surgeon. So it would be a great connection to have Tanisha in GTA 6 because it would kind of connect you indirectly to the previous protagonist in GTA 5. And uh, of course, she runs off into the distance with someone else she just married. So that's pretty much my confident guesses on who I think are going to be in GTA 6 from GTA 5. And moving on to some other guesses who I think would have a social page, maybe a few references or something, would of course be Jimmy and Tracy and maybe Franklin because Franklin can't get taken out no matter what you try and do but the reason why I think Rockstar Games can't add Franklin in as like an actual character who you can talk to is because it would be too complicated because at the end of GTA 5 you can choose three endings and only one of them will actually take place and of course every single one of us would have chosen different endings etc so Franklin couldn't really say exactly what happened in Los Santos he could only just be there as kind of like a, a supporting role who you can interact with by saying hi or something so I honestly think Franklin could be a reference like maybe he'll be referenced or something like there was this guy in uh, Los Santos or something maybe he could have his own social page with Lamar that would be awesome and of course Jimmy and Tracy as well maybe a few easter eggs and references towards their characters or even a social page but I can't imagine we would see them as an actual character we can interact with but Lester, Ron, Wade, Laszlo, Fabian and Tanisha I honestly think are going to be in GTA 6 I would love to know your thoughts about this as well guys if you want to put any 
anything in the comments section below, feel free to do so. I'll make sure to read as many of your comments as possible and uh, maybe even reply to a few of you guys, just giving you guys my opinion as well. But something I do know for sure is that if we take a look at previous GTA games, there's going to be a good handful of GTA 5 characters in GTA 6. So using the knowledge we have already, I honestly think Rockstar Games are going to put some characters from GTA 5 into GTA 6 and it's only down to us to try and take an educated guess on who those characters will be. But to be honest guys, I am at least 100% certain that at least one of these characters from my list will be in Grand Theft Auto 6. So once again, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. But until next time guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy today's episode, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. That would of course be absolutely amazing. And of course guys, I recommend you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. And let me know in the comments section below anything else you would like to see me do on my channel. And you never know guys, your idea might make it into another video. But guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.